Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. This video is how to create your mat in Shirkuts a lot so that uh, you can start utilizing the roll feeder if you have it for your new Scan and Cut DX. Okay, so I already have mine created as I did the roll feeder video uh, last week. So this is what it looks like, but in order to create this, let's go to a new page okay and let's bring our custom size back down to normal here okay so normally we have our 12 inch and we have our 24 inch mat well in order to create a custom one you can come in here go to your custom size and you're just going to enter the height okay so you can enter anywhere from a 36 up to 72 inches. So you can add 72.00. And as you see, I already have those in here. I have the roller set to 36 or the 6 foot to 72 inches. Okay. Then you click Save Preset and you name it. The 6 foot, that's what I called it. The 3 foot, I can change it to 3 foot roller, but I just put roller. Then you click OK. All right. So that's how you name it. So I could do you know what let's come back in here let's choose this one okay let's re I'm gonna rename this one 36 we're gonna do three foot roller and we're gonna click OK all right so now there's two of them in there well let's come back into the custom size and I'm gonna highlight this one and click remove all right, so now I have my three foot and my six foot roller. All right, so there those are. I'm gonna click OK. All right, let's come back to this one though, this big, huge, long one. Let's change that custom one back to the six foot size. All right, now if you inspect, let's bring this back in here. Let's go to 50 take a look at where my lines lay let's come up to the top here okay this is how far I have it backed in so an inch there about an inch and a half here from the side now remember this is not a full 12 inch width it's 11.65 wide then I have it backed in about three quarters of an inch there on the bottom I have it backed in about an inch and three quarters there. So let's come in here. I'm just going to save this or export this. Um, let's see, where can we export this? We're just going to export this directly to just the, the standard documents. We're going to save it as FCM. Six foot roll. And enter. So now let's come into Canvas offline because you cannot utilize this in the online program yet. I don't know if they're going to uh, have it for the online program, but you have to use it in the offline program. Also understand that you must come in here in the Canvas online in order to register your uh, kit. You need to come here and register your roller kit first. The premium activation if you do not do that you cannot access the roller function in here nor can you access it on the machine if you save that file in sure cuts a lot and you try to plug it into your machine it will not work the roll feeder will not even come up as an available item on your machine okay so once you have that kit activated you enter the code that comes with the roll attachment you're going to come down here to this bottom thing it's called the artboard click on that aha rolled material click that Ooh, there it comes well let's change this to 72 okay so there's my 72 Ooh, look at that's how much it takes off of the mat already so let's import um, my FCM that I just saved from sure cuts a lot because I will tell you any FCM you create in sure cuts a lot needs to be uh, passed through canvas in order to get it to show up on the machine here it is right here so let's bring it in and see what it looks like actually let me add some color to it 
Oh, hold that thought a minute. Okay, so let's come up here and let's add some color to it so we can see what we're doing here and where things lie. Okay. Woo, look at that. It's a hot mess. Okay. But let's check out our lines here. Let's bring this to 50%. Okay. So that Y lays right about down to the bottom there, but we need to check all of our lines. Okay, so this is a decent size there. Let's check this bottom. Those lay pretty much right on the red line. Yes, I have a little bit that I can tweak and get it right next to that red edge, but that's kind of rolling the dice there. Understand that this black stuff doesn't really concern me because when I take it back to the nothing, I still have my cut lines, and that is all I'm worried about. Uh, understand that this that may pop in there is nothing to worry about. This, I did not lose that line. That line will still be there. Just imagine that as your vinyl. Okay, so this hole that's missing, okay, this hole that's missing right there is just like a straight sheet of vinyl. If that cut line is present when I turn the color off, that means it will be there when it cuts my vinyl, and it will, just like this little hole, okay? So don't ever panic if that happens. Panic if that hole truly disappears and it is not showing when you take that color off, okay? So yes, I can tap this and move it up. Ooh. I can take this and move this up. Okay, so I can stretch it a little bit more, and I can stretch it downward a little bit more. But you're also running the risk of, you know, it being too big. So that's just about right. So you've seen in your cuts a lot here where this lays off of your mat, okay? So just remember when you're in your cuts a lot that you really need to leave a lot on the sides there because this was just about spot on, okay? Um, this leaves a lot of excess, okay? Um, it's something that I don't like personally. That's why I am not going to be utilizing the roll feeder. Um, I prefer to use all 11.65 inches of my mat. Um, as you see, let's see how wide technically is this. So this is only 9.538 wide, okay? So we're only getting about 9, 9.6 inches of actual usable vinyl out of a 12 inch roll. So you're gonna have two and a half inches of scrap, not even, so but just about two and a half inches of scrap vinyl cut from a solid roll, okay? Uh, height, even though this is supposed to be 72, uh, it's down to 69.7, so you're going to have scrap on the ends as well. Plus, all this stuff in the middle here, okay, so all of this will also be scrap. I myself, and I told you this uh, when I did the actual roll feeder video, but maybe some have not watched that, but this stuff in here, it's just too much for me, so I will actually be utilizing the 24-inch mats when I make my cuts. It's just easier to handle. Uh, the scrap is not as much, okay? Um, so uh, to me, it's better to do it that way. It's also easier to handle when you put your transfer tape on it. You do not need a huge sheet of transfer tape. Uh, and someone actually asked that question in the group. Do I need a full sheet of transfer tape that long? Well, you may not, but technically, I guess so. If you're cutting something that long, 72 inches long, that's, you know, really what you want to apply, correct? Or else you would cut it on your 24-inch mat. But it is fully up to you. Um, if you're going to cut it down into sections anyhow, wouldn't it be easier to just cut it on the 12-inch or 24-inch mat to begin with? Uh, then you're going to save yourself all that frustration, okay? If you can break it up, that's what I actually suggest. But if you have something like this word classroom, 
that you want to make real big, then by all means use something like the roll feeder to cut it. But something that has words in it, like this and this, that's something that you can throw together on a 12 inch or a 24 inch mat. Okay? But something like this word here that's really big and really long, then yes, I may consider something like the roller. But again, I try to stay away from it because I want taller words. Okay? So something like this, if I can get away with making it as big as I can and say putting a cut right in there that I can join that's going to be hidden, that is how I will approach it. Okay? But that is my own opinion. Um, but this is how you go about designing insure cuts a lot. You must export that FCM to some place, then you must import it into Canvas. Come here, click the artboard, make sure that your file is well within this red area. Okay, do not let it, I'm making sure it's in there. Don't, oh yeah, see, okay, yeah, that's within there. Um, don't let it touch or go over that red line, because that will throw out an error message. Okay, then you can export it to your new DX however you want. All right, I know some people have been having troubles finding uh, their files. It's blank. Um, they can't. It's because you have to first register your roller. Then you have to uh, design your file. You can do it in shortcuts a lot, but you have to pass it through here. So come to that artboard, pull it up, make sure it's in there, then export it out. All right, guys, if you have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut, Canvas, and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.